Welcome to the Network Engineering Video Blog. I am your host, Michael Crane. Let's do a quick review of rules of buying Cisco equipment or any equipment on eBay. So when you're shopping for a new or, or for a used Cisco router, uh, there are a few things to look for, okay? So number one, stay away from equipment that looks like it has been through a chop shop, right? Uh, more than likely it probably has, or it has been mishandled. Just remember, if it looks like junk, it probably is junk, okay? Number two, make sure the router has all its blank slots properly covered, okay? This is very important for proper airflow through the router and because some folks throw away a slot cover when installing a new card in it, in a router, it can make slot covers, blank slot covers, hard to find and kind of expensive, all right? Okay, so make sure the router has a power supply and, and make sure it's got the correct voltage for your rack. A lot of telecom routers will have NEG48 DC power supplies like the Juniper we have, right? Okay, so number four, make sure the router has a compact flash. This is for Cisco, of course. Uh, this is needed for backing up your iOS image and for storing your config files, okay? Uh, and the most important item to look for, absolutely make sure it has a software load with the features you want installed and running. This is so important, I cannot stress it enough. You will be opening Pandora's box if you buy a Cisco router with a basic IP services load and because, you know, you're buying it because it's a good deal, thinking that you're gonna upgrade it later. Uh, you're, you're gonna hate life. To find out if the feature you want in an iOS load in a router or switch on eBay, you need to go to Cisco's Feature Navigator, all right? And here's the URL for it. You can probably just Google Cisco Feature Navigator. Be easier than trying to remember this um, strange URL. So, um, yeah, and what we want to do is uh, we want to research software, okay? And there's many ways of doing this, but what you want is the image name, all right? And it kind of gives you an example here, which is very nice. So we're gonna come over here to our eBay listing and we're gonna scroll down until we find the image name, which is right here. Okay, I'm gonna copy that guy. Come over here and I'm going to image name, plug it, just paste him right in here, paste and then search for images. And it's asking me which, which one it is. Um, it's 3845 Advanced Enterprise Services. And this is nice, it kind of tells you what size, how much memory you need and what size it is. But anyway, uh, so we're gonna click on this guy. View image details, all right? And it pulls up this nice little, looks like a little spreadsheet. And, and you can just scroll through here and you can also export it. So I've already exported this, just download it as an Excel, right? And you'll get something that looks similar to this. I, I've, I massage this a little bit for this video but I did it so I could search by um, uh, technology. I think that's how I grouped them. I grouped them by technology. So all the blank ones are at the top. And I'm just gonna scroll through these uh, so you can uh, see what features there are. Okay, here we go.
Well, that's about it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That always helps. If you have any questions or comments, I'll leave them in the comments under the video and I'll answer them the best I can. And I'll see you next time.